Hey everybody, this is Ebony and welcome to In Fashion. So today is my birthday haul part two featuring Eloquy. I got a pretty sizable haul this time so you guys can see a variety of things. I tried to keep it more push forward to spring so you guys are not looking at things that you probably won't wear in the next couple weeks. Now to be honest, this is my first time shopping at Eloquy in a very long time. If you are not new to my channel, you know that I put out a Eloquy haul I think last year around this time and that was literally the last time I shopped with Eloquy. A few of the main reasons why I stopped shopping was that they started to change their business model so they stopped giving out deals and stuff like that and that was kind of like the main focal point of how they made their money because they had these outrageous great deals. Now to be fair, at this point they were doing deals probably too regularly, like it was kind of oversaturated. So I understand them wanting to kind of pull back so they can actually make, you know, some of their money back. But at the same time they went from having deals every other second to no deals at all. And to me, if I was going to keep buying the same quality of clothing, the same styles, I was not going to be paying double the price. This is a very similar reason to why I stopped shopping with Brandless as well, but let's push forward. Now the next reason that Eloquy started to see some dip, this in particular I don't think affected me as much, but I was kind of worried about it, was when they got bought out by Walmart for a time. And that was concerning because I was like, go straight to Walmart, but with plus size, they get real matronly if there's any availability whatsoever. And a couple of years prior to that, Mod Cloth had got bought out by Walmart and their selection, I'm just leaving it at that. So that was a big concern for me. A lot of other people didn't like that they were working with Walmart because of Walmart's business practices, which is very valid. Another reason why I stopped shopping with Eloquy is because the clothes were not wowing me like that. Uh, you know, with the exception of some of their um, collaborations, the clothes weren't wowing me and that was during the time that they were working with Walmart. So I guess my fears were validated a bit. So I just wasn't going to go out my way to pay full price for clothes I didn't care about. So here we are a year later. Eloquy just put out a Valentine's Day shop as well as launched their spring stuff. And the spring stuff I thought was really cute. I thought the colors were nice and the pattern. So I said, you know what, let me try that. I have been searching for spring clothes. I don't know why, but with winter and fall, it's really nice at the beginning. You know, you get your bold mustards and cute styles and stuff like that. But at the same time, you just get tired. You get tired of seeing the same color patterns. So when the spring launch came out, I said, oh, I have to have that. So like I said in a previous video, Eloquy now offers a firm. Now, if you shop at Rev Dolls, um, you would be paying after pay, right? So that's a payment plan. You pay every two weeks until you pay it off in four payments. ASOS does Klarna, which is the same payment model. Boohoo, Afterpay, Minted, Afterpay, blah, blah, blah. But I have brought up in a previous video that Ishakti is using a firm as well as Eloquy. And what makes a firm different is that you get three payments, but they are monthly. And when you buy, you actually don't start paying till the following month. So the cool thing is you can order clothes from both Eloquy and Ishakti and essentially try them for a month, not necessarily wear them because you know that defeats the purpose if you have to return them. But you can try them on, you have time to try them on and send them back before you even get charged. So I think that's great. Plus if you find yourself overspending, when you return things you don't have to wait two, three weeks to get your money back. They just don't take it out all together and that's a win. So without wasting any more of you guys time, we're going to get into the clothes and then I'll see you afterwards. Alright guys, so the first thing we have is the belted blazer dress in Very Berry. I got this dress in a size 26 and the material is 98% polyester, 2% spandex, as well as the lining is 93% polyester and 7% spandex. 
There is some slight stretch and it is a woven crepe fabric. I actually like the cut. I thought it would be too straight and would look kind of dumpy on me, but it actually looks nice and I love the color. So I think that this will be a good option to work and play in. So next we have the wrap skirt romper in a size 26 and in the color orange pepper. Now there's an elastic waist and it's a true wrap and I think it's a really innovative style. It's a bit lighter on the website than it is in person but I don't mind that because it's still pretty bright. The material is 90% polyester and 10% modal and I love the flow. I love how lightweight it is. As well as, I just really like the style. I think it's cool. I love the true wrap situation. I love that it's shorts underneath. So I think this is a great option to pick up. The next two items I want to talk about is the pleated crop pant and the puff sleeve square neck peplum top. So the top is in true white. It's a size 24 and the material is 95% cotton and 5% spandex. There's elastic in the neckline, the waist, and the arms, which makes this shirt very comfortable and breathable. Now the crop pants are in olive, and this is in a size 26. The material is 65 rayon, 30% linen, and 5% spandex. Now this has an elastic waist, which makes these very comfortable. And I got these pants because it would fit like a regular wide length pant on me. Next thing we got is the Ponty Knit Skirt in Bright Rose. Now the material is 70% rayon, 26% nylon, and 4% spandex. This is in a size 26. I typically go up as I said before because I don't want things to hug my curves too much. But um, I definitely could have worn a 24 if I wanted to. Everything I'm wearing today, I'm not wearing with shapewear. So I hope that informs your decision a bit better. It is a little bit past my knees. So it's very conservative, but it's very pretty. Next, we have the tie waist sweatshirt and soft track pant set in Golden Glow. Now for the top, it is 95% cotton and 5% spandex and it is a size 26. The pants is the same materials as well as a size 26. Now online the set looked a bit lighter. Again, I don't really have an issue with that. But as someone who's 5'2", um, Eloquy stuff runs really long on me. So the top runs much longer on me than it does the model. So I had to like really tie it up to make it crop. Otherwise it would be like that long. And the pants, the pants were okay. But the cuffs on the arms and the legs are a bit loose because of me sizing up. So, you know, I'm just not dying for the way I look in this. I mean, you let me know how you feel about it. I think it's a great set. I think it's meant for a taller person so yeah now we have the off the shoulder puff sleeve fit and flare dress in the color zingle and ready to mingle I think this is such a cute dress I love the print love the colors and I love the tie belt it's actually connected to the dress I got this in a size 24 and it's a hundred percent cotton which means this dress is going to be super breathable from spring into summer. So, and another thing is, I love the top. The neckline is kind of convertible. So you can make it to like a regular strapless, you know, square neckline. Or you can turn it back to um, sweetheart neckline. And I think that's such a cute thing, especially you could change it up if you want to. The sleeves have elastic, and I just think this dress is a must-buy. Last but not least, we have the puff sleeve blazer dress. I got this in a size 26, and the material is 61% polyester, 33% rayon, and 6% spandex. Now, unlike the pink dress, this is much heavier. There are no pockets, and it's dry clean only. So keep that in mind if you want to get this. Right now, online is final sale, 
so uh, I think it's about $40 so if you pick it up now just know you can't return it <laughs> but yeah I think this dress is okay I think the pink one I believe fit better on me I think it looked a bit more flattering as well as the color for some reason um, but overall I think I would just use this dress you know I can use it as a dress but I'll probably use it as a jacket as well it was free so I'm definitely not sending it back all right guys I hope you enjoyed the haul there were some great colors in there patterns looks some things that I didn't think worked out for me per se but it may work out for you and I'm glad you took the time to watch it now I don't have any codes in particular for Eloquii but I'll just put the links down if you guys want to get whatever you saw today you can go ahead and get it. I do have codes however for Ishakti, Rev Dolls, CC's Closet. So if you want to take a look at those and get something with a discount, feel free. As always guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video if you feel like someone else is interested. Follow me on my social medias because I want to be friends and I'll see you next time. Bye. I can't